Did you know that anyone can build their own greenhouse? Well, joining us today to teach us how is Dina Wild. Hey, Dina. Hey, good morning. So why do we need a greenhouse? Well, if you're going to be starting your seeds indoors, the science says that you need a warm, dark, moist environment. Oh, can you use any container? You cannot. Okay. <laughs> Now there's an art to creating the, uh, the dark, warm, moist environment. And because, uh, so the art is um, what you use to create the moist environment. You have several options. Okay. One option is the plastic bag, mm -hmm. a simple plastic bag from the grocery store. Okay. And what you do, um, this is probably the least costly way of doing a greenhouse. And I did it for years and years and years. And so you fill your pot with your um, seed starting mix. So do you need potting soil or? You need a seed starting mix. Seed starting mix. Yes, okay. and you fill your pot. For this method, I recommend the four inch pot. And then uh, you label, you've got a label, and you only put um, seeds from one variety, like you know, one per, plant okay. per pot, you know, one plant per pot. And you label because all those little seedlings look the same. And they do. <laughs> then, then you add little twigs to the corners Three or four twigs to the corners um, because you don't want the plastic bag to uh, rest on the little seed heads. Okay. And so then you put the pot in the plastic bag and you put the other pot in. I found two pots, maximum three works really well. And you close it and then you bind it together. Do you water it first? Well, the, mo the soil has already been watered. Okay, so you yes. don't need to do anything. No, you don't have to do anything else because when you plant your seeds, you plant it in a moist soil. So yeah, okay. that's where I've gone So wrong. then you put <laughs> this little greenhouse into a dark, warm environment. And so... So like under your kitchen sink? It could be. <laughs> um, when I did this, I did it outside in a very shady, heavily shaded area. Yeah. And after three or four days, you must, there's no discussion, no argument, you must start checking to see if the seed heads have popped through the soil, because the moment they've popped through the soil, you've got to take the pot out of the greenhouse and put it into the environment it's going to grow, sun or shade. Okay. That means you've got to unwrap So that you said pot. you leave it in there for three to four days when you see the seedlings start to hatch. Well, they may take a whole week. They okay. may take um, 10 days, but after three or four days, you've got to look. Okay. And so you undo it, you peek, and oh, inevitably, inevitably, it's the pot way in back <laughs> that's had the seedlings. And so you take those seedlings out, and then you put the other pots back in, and you repeat, you repeat, you repeat. Or you can use this method for mm. a greenhouse. And this method, it's very organized. It is. And this is um, a greenhouse you buy online. Okay. And it's a bit of an expense, but it amortizes really, really quickly. And, um, and you can just put your um, pots with you your seeds. You have plenty different. Yes. In fact, I often fill this up because I do flowers, I do herbs, I do vegetables. And you fill it up. I like using the uh, two-inch uh, pots, you could use the four inch, but I like the two inch because you can get a lot more in. Mm -hmm. And then you cover it. And just let it sit. And no, one more step. <laughs> one more step. Because you got to cre create the dark environment. This go. is going to be moist. You create the dark environment. And what I will do right now, because it's so worn out, I just put it outside under a protected area. Mm -hmm. And then after three or four days, instead of, I'll just take off the lid and see what activity is happening. <laughs> and then just take out the pot and put it into the sun shade that's been that's protected from the wind and the rain. Okay. And creative. then at what point do you take the seedling out of this container and plant it in the ground? Um, when you have two true leaves. Okay. Which to most people who are not botanists, <laughs> four leaves. Four leaves. And you can transplant from this environment to either a pot. Mm -hmm. I usually do that. I up pot. And um, then once it doubles in size, I then go into the ground. Smart. All right. So. Well, Dina, thank you so much for teaching us sure. about this. This is fun. So <laughs> greenhouses.
Who knew? <laughs> Well, now you know how easy it can be to build your own greenhouse and to grow seedlings.